Hi there, I'm Allie Elliott. Hi, I'm Allie Elliott. Welcome to my stream today. Um, today, what are we gonna do? So I'm gonna work on this situation. Hey, Ram. Um, I'm gonna work on this and then this and then I want to do a line drawing of a maternity. So you can help me pick um, one of these. How's it going, Ram? Do a good stream. The rest of the stream. Okay, so this is kind of a red hot mess still. So I'm ready to wrap it up. Oh, you're still streaming. Well, good. Multitasking, I like it. All right. It's kind of bright in here. I feel like it should be darker. Not the picture, just the sky. All right, so this is a really high exposure. He looks super creepy. light hair so I feel like that kind of takes like that brow bone well I don't know I might have just made it really weird looking like his eyebrow oh no that's that's actually more human looking change the shape of it a little bit so we'll fix that oh okay my computer's like no you work you work from where I tell you you'll work Hmm. Oh my gosh, my computer's been kind of weird lately. I think it might be ghosts. <laughs> if you have an aversion to blinking lights, you're going to want to look away. It looks so creepy up close. Let's work on her. She's less creepy. Um... Settle down, computer. Okay, so I changed her facial shape a little bit and I wanna correct that. Oh my gosh. I'll just work from right here, this distance. It's good, it's what I wanted anyway. All right, so let's get everything. Oh my gosh, I hate it when it does this. Okay, we might end up having to kind of reset. There we go. Just that little, just bringing down that eyelid a little bit seems more like her. Switch to burn. There we go. Okay. Sounds like an emo station. I never had much else, but you came along and you proved me wrong. Somebody is on my side. I fell in love at a crazy time, but I'm thankful you're in my life. I'll never forget you. 
Sometimes I like to layer burning and dodging just to see, just to see what it's gonna do for me. And oftentimes it doesn't do a lot. So one thing I want to do is bring this down just a little bit. Just bring that light part down and this corner up. So I'm trying to bring detail in, but I really don't want to change the shape of her face really kind of defeat the purpose. So. go so we got some more so right now I'm looking at this quarter of the face and I feel like we're following the structure pretty well taking some of that harsh light out and still allowing her um, facial structure to show through not changing that at all let me see that I want that gradient and that's probably the hardest part of this of just drawing in general and okay let's see if zoom will work nope sure won't oh there we go my dog says hi. He's high maintenance. There we go. Just that little touch. It's funny, this is my grandmother's mother, but I see so much of my grandmother in this. Interesting. Oh my gosh, that's annoying. It's kind of making her. I'm looking at individual, like if you, um, you know, in art school, not in art school, <laughs> I mean, in art class in like elementary school, you take a grid over an image and then. You know, you do each little square individually. That's kind of what I'm doing with this. Just to kind of see, um, if it's lining up with the original. Oh, I, I started to get excited because I thought it was just going to work when I clicked it. But, I got excited too quick. There we go. I just want to do real subtle. Okay, so let's get, um, I want a brush that is, a, um, not these, I want a wet, like an oil type. Um, because I want to make sure that I'm using, <laughs> there, that's perfect. Um, Stop, 
color instead of when I'm dodging and burning using blacks and um, void of color. Give her a big tooth. All right, so kind of am. That is kind of what I'm doing. reason my stylus is acting weird and I don't even think that I need to um, restart because I just did so this one's in a shadow okay and then We don't want to have like Ross from Friends. <laughs> All right, let's see. We're matching it up, okay? Yeah, I think we're in pretty good shape right now. I do see um, a little change that I want to make. Let's see, this might be easier with my stylus as long as it's working. I'm gonna bring this eyelid down a little bit. And then let's see, there's something going on with that shadow. Okay, so bring that cheekbone up. That's her. That's much more her than what it was before. Um, so let's do perfect. It's not often I get to say that, but that's exactly what I wanted to happen. <laughs> now it's really starting to look like a face and not like a ghost. Yeah, that's really starting to look like her too and not just a face, her face. I never met her. She died before I was born. But because of my mom, I feel like I know her. There are so many reflections in here today, it's kind of hard to even see. Nope, I don't like that. <laughs> Undo. I'm gonna save though. I actually think I might, before I say that. Hey, we have ants and like obviously not in here. We just had them like by the back patio door. But now I constantly feel like they're they're like on me. <laughs> okay, it looks like this part of her head kind of didn't get smoothed out. Just do that now, make sure. Did she have an ear on that side? Doesn't it appear that way. Is that an ear that I'm looking at? I can't even tell. 
I mean, I feel pretty confident that she had an ear on both sides. I feel like that would have been a part of the stories. But it looks really flat to her head. Um, so anyway, what I got distracted from was I was just running a little shadow along along her hairline to give her skull some shape because I also believe that her skull had shape. Just <laughs> a general rule. I'm not sure what's going on over there. Maybe we'll just assume that she had an ear. Let's see. I really don't. Like, I feel like it would... This might have been, like, she might just have an ear tugging out of her hair a little bit. No, it doesn't look like it. looks like... Where, where are my ears? It's usually, like, your mouth to your eye-ish. This might be the bottom, but it might be dust. <laughs> And I really don't see anything on the other side, but it's so scratched up, it's hard to tell. So we'll just work under the assumption. We'll give like a little, like it's tucked into her. small and pretty opaque give her a nice little kind of shadow I think that's probably what the issue was with her facial structure over there there's just something lost in translation to be anything dramatic just kind of an implied ear this might be a scenario where we print <laughs> and then we can mark up the print and see small brush here just line the shadow is so dramatic that we've lost a lot of color I do want to finish this today make him look like less of a ghost <laughs> he looks so creepy <laughs> let's fix that and he's got like weird like no um, whites of his eyes so that you can hear me. 
Thank you so much. I'm sorry for the weird time that you picked to raid because I've got weird alien things happening here. <laughs> Just stay tuned. Thank you so much for the raid. That's so awesome. I appreciate it. I'm so, 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 so close to affiliate. Not there yet, but I'm super close. How is everybody? <laughs> Yay. You just made my day. There we go. All right, let's see. What's he really look like? Much less scary. Let's go here. Dio Chu. Am I saying your name right? So I'm working on this ghost. <laughs> Just um, livening up. I'm not calling it a restoration. Um, this picture of my great grandparents. Just kind of a creative restoration. And I've been half working on it <laughs> off and on for a while. So I just want to get it done. And now he looks like super creepy. But we're getting there. It'll be, it'll be a while. <laughs> What's everybody else up to? Oops. I've got some like super sad, it's definitely part of the, definitely part of the process. I feel like if I went to their house at night, this is, this is the version I would see. <laughs> oh no, I don't want to do that. Oh no, what's going on with Lightroom? Now he's got a nose ring. You guys all came for my super emo music. I feel like I'm in college again. <laughs> Just give him like a smarmy little mustache. This exposure is crazy high. I don't usually go above nine. with both Gangster Rap and Pink. And I'm also, I've got my, you know, copyright, <laughs> copyright free, or it's probably not copyright free, but whatever um, this website is that lets me use it, which I'm grateful for. Thank you, artists. And I put it on Surprise Me, so I end up with a lot of um, video game, I don't even know what you call them. Video game techno. I've always prided myself on listening to like everything, all kinds of music. And I thought no matter what my kids liked that I would, you know, I would like it. They found some stuff <laughs> I'm not on board with. It happens. Search high and low, I guess.
can't actually see what's happening here. I feel like the colors are bleeding a little bit, which I can't see, but everybody else probably can. Oh, it's so small. Ugh. There we go. Oops. Ever since the Super Bowl, I've been listening to a lot more. <laughs> like late 90s rap. Alright, let's... I keep getting away from his face and going back to it because there's like, there's basically no detail at all in his eyes, which is part of what makes it creepy, but um, I could do the ear here. Oh wait, I've got the wrong one. That would help too. What's everybody else got going on this Monday? Oh my goodness, that is 100%. Okay, let's see here. So this down here, this area is not looking quite spot on. That we can handle. Mr. Lopez, how are you? Did you watch some soccer this weekend? Well, the thing is that everybody that knows what he looked like is also dead. <laughs> so I can't be wrong. That's the, that's the upside, kind of. It's also the downside. It's a weird shadow that should definitely not be there. Let's just cheat a little bit there. Let's go from right here. Okay, so <laughs> my son was so sad that he missed a soccer discussion. Ah, that's still fun though. It was a good weekend for soccer. I wish we had been out playing, but I had little league pictures to take. We just don't have a very strong sing, uh, spring season around here. Where is, let's see. 
want a nice strong line where And this side of his face is way too light, given the crisp shadows. So, I think I know all the words to this song. <laughs> Let's see, got anything over there? We've got no information on the camera right side of his face. And I actually don't, I don't really know what he looked like. He died much younger than she did. So I can at least go maybe off the older pictures of her. And I'll have to add some color back in here, but if I can just sculpt with the burn tool, then it's at least a starting point. There we go, that gave a little bit. Whoops. Okay, so we can kind of see the progression here. We started with that, and then, I haven't done this yet, so we'll see. We started with that, and then went to that, or she's floating. <laughs> so gave him a little bit of a base. Um, just some shadow on the flag, it looks like. More shadow on the flag. And there, start working on their faces. So, long way to go still. But we've come a long way too. We have a whole bunch of games still queued up from this weekend. We only got to watch Man City yesterday. It's a good game. If you're a Man City fan. <laughs> Okay. So I've been trying to stream or trying to join other people's streams. I need to know how to do a little bot, a little shout out bot. I need to be able to do that for people. So somebody teach me. And subtle. I actually really like the progression of this shadow right here. The little highlight. Let's see. Okay. Pretty happy with the nose and the chin and the left side of the the mouth, the right side still looks kind of weird. But some of this will be alleviated. I'm gonna work on this in a little bit too. Some of this will be alleviated when I flatten and then run it through a few more So let's just go with a bigger I want a little bit along this hairline, just a normal you know what? Normal shadow. Oh, that's that was terrible, don't and you didn't see that. <laughs> Did this just play? I feel like this just played. Sometimes I'll get on a station where there's one like 
two songs that are okay for YouTube. Ooh, let's surprise me. Ooh, blues. Uh-oh, never mind. None of the blues songs. Or ambient. All right. Please excuse like shifting. Okay, one thing I wanna do here that should help somewhat is just grab his face and hair and arm and add some color back in because a lot of the sculpting was with Um, dodge and burn so I lost a lot of the color so I can one thing I can do even without any of the rest of his face and this is what I keep doing is kind of why it's taken so long because I keep staying away from the stuff that's going to be difficult but I could give some detail to his hair okay let's just delete these Oh wait, wrong one. Merge and copy, or duplicate I mean. And then I'm gonna save this as a new version. I'm only on version eight, so I've got a long way to go. So it's pretty subtle. Uh-oh, I did it again. I'll just scroll. Let me just scroll. Okay, let's get a little bitty, like two pixels. Just try to gonna give him some blonde <laughs> some ambient light and then some detail And then I'm gonna smudge just a tiny bit and stay in the direction of the highlights. just wow that's really strong I said this earlier but I don't usually go um, higher on <laughs> my exposure for burning above like nine so Having it at 28 is pretty insane. Number one sign I'm ready to be done with an image. <laughs> and then twist around a little bit. I could just move my, my tablet but I don't. <laughs> I 
No, that's big. Just so there's a little bit of depth in there. It's got a weird like. Miser Brothers Christmas hair situation going on right now, but we'll get there. Baby steps. Okay, so I now I see a different pattern on his hair that Please look away if you are uncomfortable with flickering. My computer has a mind of its own. Okay, let's see. Let's do a little bit bigger. like a gray. Ooh, moody music. All right, so I'm going to grab this shadow and this kind of triangular shadow and create that same. Okay, my computer's like, no, you will not. You will not do any such thing. gosh I put on like <laughs> this stuff is like sleepy time music which doesn't help because it's rainy outside no that over here is significantly darker than over here even the darkest parts so let's make that happen nope not with that one with that one Everybody stay awake through that song. Me neither. All right, and I'm gonna go down to like 11. His eyes are enormous, that is. Okay, I've got a little cheat that we're gonna try here in a minute. All right, so I'm gonna copy this layer. Well, duplicate, I always say copy, but you know what I mean. And I'm gonna scoot in here real close. Nope, we're gonna freeze right here. There it is, okay. And then I'm gonna get the pucker tool go a little bigger than that maybe like a hundred
There we go. That is better. That's too small. If I had to pick one favorite tool, it would be the liquify tool. It's my favorite. It's very versatile. Okay, so let's look at our highlights. Are this arm, this section of the arm, the forehead, the nose, the ear, and the bottom lip, weirdly enough. So let's take, okay, so we're basically white at this point. Let's maybe we'll raise the opacity a little bit. gingerly here. There we go. Staying in the same stroke pattern, just like if this were a drawing or crepe or painting or whatever. I feel my mouth hanging open. I'm sorry. I make terrible faces when I'm concentrating. And this was already pretty. Pretty bright. Okay, I feel like we're getting to a good place with his facial shape. Um, what I don't understand is why that highlight on his cheek isn't as strong, but it doesn't appear to be. Nope. I'm still going to give them a little bit because it doesn't make any sense that it wouldn't be. And maybe it's just, you know, like the print or the film or whatever, a hundred years later. <laughs> Isn't it funny to think that, you know, a hundred years from now, what will our families be looking at? We're in a pretty good place actually with oops I don't think I did this one since I didn't really know them these are the kinds of things that I know some things about them but they're not the best you know history has a way of remembering <laughs> the worst things about you so, you never know, you know, what your grandchildren's opinion of you will be. I'm going to give him just a tiny bit of definition and we'll go from there. You know what? Let's go back. I don't want to go so bright. Let's go back to like, oops. That is too low. Um, let's see here. The light is, even the ambient light is coming from above.
It's like contouring, except I'm better at Photoshop <laughs> than I am at contouring. Okay. Now I do want to get in there kind of give some shadow to the eyes. Um, make sure that the eyeballs go back in his head rather than and I'm going to go over those highlights a little bit because now we need like a one just to outline here because there's no outline. Hmm. Going crazy. Okay. Also going to work on this which this is obviously just hi my weekend was good how was yours So even though he's still looking pretty creepy, <laughs> I think we're starting to have more human shape. So I'm gonna give him an eyelid. <laughs> Everybody deserves an eyelid. And then I think what I'm gonna do is dodge a little under there so it's not so dark and then go back and burn just where the eyelid is some of this will be alleviated when we flatten and burn flatten and lower and all that good stuff be getting to that point. So I'm going to merge these and duplicate and then save it as a <laughs> yes yes I had a busy weekend working as well I had a lot of um, little league baseball players lot 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 of them but it was good it was the prettiest day we've had this spring so far. Are you still working your way through the sports pictures? Ooh, we get bird sounds. I was watching a streamer over the weekend. I was trying to watch people over the weekend. I try to watch people, um, especially on days that I'm not streaming and, uh, nobody was streaming this weekend. So I guess everybody's outside or people tend to stream, um, when I'm asleep. <laughs> okay. Let's see. We've got nothing clipped and nothing burnt so that's good and what I was gonna do here was just take this down a notch first 350 delivered yes very nice yeah, that's the beauty. That's the beauty I feel like for streaming is that there's always something to put on Instagram. 
<laughs> I'm gonna hang on to a duplicate of this just because, just because, it's just in case. And then I want to erase back maybe at 50%. And then Hmm, that might be too much. Did I go, did I do too much? Maybe. Oh, maybe that's why. All right, I'm feeling it. It's been a while since I last posted something. So I made myself a schedule six weeks at a time and I have like a kind of a theme. Sometimes I have a specific image, but I have kind of a theme of what I want to post every day so that it be, so that it's, first of all, I don't have to think about it. I don't have to like think of something and I can schedule it pretty far out and I'm not posting the same thing over and over. Like if I'm, um, you know, grumpy or, <laughs> Okay, and here's where I start saving a whole bunch of copies that kind of look like the same thing over and over because it's like little minute changes, but it's stuff that I don't have to remember what I did. <clears throat> All right, so let's see here. We started with that, and right now we're at that. So I'd say we're getting there. Um, I think I will give him some deeper eye sockets because clearly, you know, he had some or like, cause she's got a little bit of detail in her eye and he's got like nothing. He's got like black holes where his eyes would be. <laughs> so. I have a tendency with social media to just go through pays, uh, phases where I like I'll post a ton for a few weeks and then I'll get busy or you know who knows what else and I won't post that much okay let's see here this is I don't know what this is that we're listening to but it's kind of soothing experiment here and since it's an experiment I'm gonna save it <laughs> oh wait something just stood out to me like crazy before I experiment I'm going to I'm trying not to glare because I see myself glaring the, <laughs> the camera all up just kind of make that a little more gradual and not such a steep. Hmm. So I'm gonna darken that a little because I feel like it might just be dust and not actually a light patch. Let's try this again. Okay, I 
see another one before I go any further. Go a little bigger than that and just... Okay. It's like got a coal miner situation going on. Um, so I was gonna do something a minute ago and now I forgot what it was <laughs> so it wasn't that important basically oh, I think I was gonna do a sweeping burn across the whole thing but I don't think I will actually I don't think that it's necessary I think I will work on his hair I'll do make sure highlights got those So we added some detail, but also kept that depth because he's really dark in there. Hi, hello, I am still on, it's good. I'm so close to affiliate, I'm like two away. Thank you guys all so much for all of your help. I'm so impressed by the community here. Oh, I changed his face that time. What did I do? That's what I did, okay. We are going to liquefy a little bit. Yes, I'm so grateful. You guys are awesome. Somebody teach me how to do a shout out and I'll do them. <laughs> Whoops, I just ran a random liquefy. I don't wanna do that. Ooh, the creepy music's back. Okay, so I widened his nose here, so I'm gonna fix that. All right. There we go. And then I'm gonna burn just a little. I think it is time to wrap this one up. I could probably work on this one literally forever, if I'm being honest with myself. But then I turn into Tommy Boy with the biscuit, just keep messing with it until I kill it. So I don't wanna do that. <laughs> All right, so I'll save this as its final progression. Maybe someday come back to it, I don't know. And then save it as JPEG. Whoops, final-ish. Final is relative. <laughs> okay, so I either can continue working on this with like the kind of mixed media, if it counts as mixed media, or I'm going to turn one of these into like a pen and ink. I'm kind of leaning towards this one because I think we could layer some textures in there and make it really cool. So if you have an opinion, just let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to open this up so that I have them both to work on. Whoops. What did I name this? I'm just going to open both of them because you just never know what's going to happen. I always, my titles never actually have anything at all to do with, <laughs> with what I'm going to talk about.
Uh, I'm going to save this in a different folder too. Here we go. I'm glad to have that done. My mom would have loved that. Okay, so I think I'll do this one because it's got some potential. So this is bothering me, first of all. Well, look at all that noise. There's some color bleed there, too. Um, I was actually planning to do black and white for this one because I basically, I almost never do black and white. So I feel weird doing it, but I think I will. doesn't have a very, here, I'll tell you what, let's do this before, I'm going to brighten it way up. Am I, <laughs> am I going to brighten it right way up? ought to have a nice crisp So I know for sure that I will have a lot to do with the hair because that is how I operate. So I'm not worried about this perfectly. Whoops. today. I'm going to go ahead and snooze that. <laughs> All right. And I kind of, I think I might just make this a little more at all so I don't have any weirdness around the hair. No problem. Oh cool. So I've been working on a ton of stuff. I did this which this is the original and I brought it back to life about 120 years later. So not perfect but I'm happy with it. And then I'm going to be working on this. This is a rough sketch for just kind of a little painting. And then right now I'm going to do, um, I want it to end up kind of pen and ink almost. And I'm just refining those edges so that I can do a higher key for pen and ink. Um, and I'm going to get in there. Okay, so I have to take a chance. Every chance I get, I have to talk about this project because it was like more time than I've spent on anything, including entire exhibitions for my entire life. So I have to share this every chance. Please forgive me. Um, but this is was a big project from last year called Conversations with My Ancestors. These are the images that I used to create it. And then this is the final product and it's my children mixed in with um, five generations of ancestors. And I had so much fun working on this and I got nominated for a Grand Imaging Award. 
which I didn't win, <laughs> but whatever. Details, details. Um, but I'm just obsessed with this. And I have to be because I worked on it so much. I'm usually really, really fast at editing, but this was just so meticulous. Even like the house, this was the family home that it is, is gone from the family now, but it's fallen in disrepair and I had this old picture of when it was pristine. So I wanted to bring that back for this, which is not an easy task at all, but I love it. And I have to share that every time any kind of restoration, creative restoration comes up, I have to share that because I want to do more projects like that. Okay, I'm going to do this just kind of tucking the little fabric folds and stuff in. My computer is being super weird. I might even go smaller than that because some of these are so tiny. Thank you! I show it incessantly and everybody's probably like, wow, get over it. <laughs> I'm not even sorry though. I just, it's too much work to not show every chance I get. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that. I've been exploring Twitch a little bit. There's everything, there's a little, at least a little bit of everything. Pretty cool. My 11 year old found out that there's Minecraft on there, so. He's got big plans for when he turns however old. I think you have to be 13, however old you have to be. He's got big plans for the Minecraft world. He's got some aberration going on, or er, haloing, not really. I just want to smooth it out a little because I want to keep the folds in the fabric that are on her because I think they'll add a nice element when we're keeping texture in there. Oh, is that what this is? It is, yes. I'm impressed that you knew that. If we had 90s wrap on here, I would recognize it. No kidding! That's so cool! Small world. All right, I think all the... We'll even these out a little bit. Did you go to like a, a school for the arts? <laughs> no, you just recognize it. I know, that's okay. Now, if you want to know the words to songs, I'm not your girl, I'll get close. I'll know like some of the syllables. That's enough to sing. Oh, wow. That's so cool. All right. So real subtle changes there. Okay, now I guess we'll change to black and white, which I'm so hesitant to do because I always miss the color, but that's why I'm going to do it because I don't. All 
All right, so I want to layer some of these. Um, I'm going to do some hatching. Where is it? I can tell you one that I'll never use. Where is it? Because I'm 99% portraits. And there's one that looks like saran wrap. So you will not see me use that one. Now I want a nice strong crosshatch here. That's so subtle. I don't want it subtle. There we go. We'll give it a minute. So I'm looking for a crosshatch in these shadows over here to kind of go with the pull in her. I hope I copied that. Okay, I did. Crisis averted. All right, so I'm gonna erase back the rest because I only want it in the shadow of her dress. And I like it in the background too. I went to school for art, but I don't actually, I actually met my husband. We were both, um, well, he was a graphic design major and I was a fine arts major with a painting concentration. So similar. But I don't think, I don't actually think that anybody that we went to school with that I'm aware of stayed in the arts. Like everybody moved on to something different. Now I want something Hmm, kind of dreamy. I'm gonna go hair next. Nope. Mm, oh, yes. going to select around here, the inverse, and delete. And then take down those edges. My favorite singer at the moment is a classical trained opera singer that sings in a symphonic heavy metal band. I love when she puts a little of opera. That sounds amazing. See, if my kid loved opera, I would be like, yes, I get that. I'm on board with that. One of my favorite concerts I ever went to was Dashboard Confessional in the Louisville Orchestra. And it was so beautiful. Okay, before I flatten this, hmm. I'm gonna merge and then duplicate, but I do want to dodge a little bit. I love it um, when artists combine genres. That's like probably my favorite thing because I like a lot of different types of music. the color why did I why did I not do this in color 
Maybe I'll have to recolorize it. All right, so now I want to do something with the light side. And to kind of go juxtapose the hatch, I want to go with something that's real organic. What am I on right now? I don't even know what that is. And since there isn't a ton of detail, this will be a tough order. Hmm. Ooh. Yes, let's do that. Didn't even change anything. <laughs> Oops, wrong one. Actually, let's do something else here. They have music to honor Eugene Shoemaker, American geologist and astronomer, an astronomer. And the end of it, it's really amazing. Oh yes, can you link it? Yeah, I think you can post the link. I'm okay with that. I don't know. I'm still learning all of the Twitch stuff. Yes, everybody check that out. I won't, here, I'll click on it so that I can hear it later, but I'm not gonna play, um, you know, obviously I won't play copyright covered music. I know, I've got to figure out the bots thing. Because that's where the shout outs come from, right? I'm back here in Pioneer Days. Botless. take this off the dark as well. There we go. Nice and subtle. Okay, mod powers to people you trust. That's cool. I've got a lot to learn still. I love how much it has allowed me to do fun stuff. I'm not just at the computer doing my work. They'll silence people for sending links. Okay. Yeah, I've noticed that a few times, or like certain words will be asterisked out, so I won't know what they're talking about. So, can't have that. All right, so I wanna do something with her skin now. Hmm. 
that's what I would really like because I've liked doing um, YouTube and uh, if you guys haven't, all four of you watching right now, if you have not, uh, subs is it subscribe on YouTube? I think it is. Um, please do. I'm almost, I've only got one more on YouTube than I do. Um, yes, I totally agree. You know, I gotta say, I'm sh I'm sure that I will regret saying this because I'm I know they're out there, but I've not seen that many. I don't think I've seen any toxic people on Twitch so far. So I know it's a matter of time, just because there are people behind that. But hmm, I don't know what to do here. N not in the photo community, yeah, for sure. But I like that I'm getting to talk to people and, ooh, that's very um, early 2000s. <laughs> okay, yes. Oh, can I link it? Can I link my own YouTube? Because it's sad. I only have one more person following me on YouTube than I do here, and I've only been here like a couple of months. I'm going to do that. I'm so impressed with the photo community on Twitch and I love the, um, I gotta get this off this 90s scenario. Um, getting to talk to people. I've always been, um, you know, put headphones on and sing or whatever. <laughs> this is the one I'll never use because it looks like there's saran wrap. Because I'm almost always kind of looks like she's in water though so there you go I I'm taking it back I used photocopy when we were in quarantine and sent my clients coloring pages for their kids of their kids <laughs> so that was a lot of fun I don't want to use any of those. Oh wait, I already did those. Let's look at brush strokes. There's just not much happening on the skin and she's got such nice range of light. did this one. I've been doing a lot of the, um, here, I'll show you. And if you've been following my, well, no, I can't show you. Following my stream at all, then you probably saw it. But, um, I have to remember which stream. I always have like kind of nonsense there it is, the marking palette. <laughs> Some streamers like to talk more than others. I don't do this for the stream. This is just <laughs> genuinely how much I talk. <laughs> can't remember uh, what I did with that so never mind oh I know I can show you on my Instagram I like the bird song or this bird scenario that we're listening to right now okay here's my Instagram and this is what I'm talking about I've been doing a lot of this stuff lately just um, the kind of fun colors and stuff like that so I was making myself do black and white because it's something I hadn't done, but I haven't done it because I don't like it. <laughs> I'm not very good at it. Um, and you'd think being colorblind, I would be better at black and white than color. And maybe I am, but I don't. Oh, you know what? Let's, oh, I thought that would be more fun than it is.
Okay, I've got an idea. Let's do this first. All right, so. Hmm. I'm going to do some big sweeping erasing. work in sales but besides trying to sell computers or TVs usually I'm more the silent guy more introvert so the stream helps me connect to people that's awesome I'm here because my family gets sick of hearing me talk I don't really the introvert extrovert thing I kind of feel like I'm both can you be both because I feel like I'm both. Like, I'm not shy to talk to people, but I don't, like, I just choose not to talk to people sometimes. I don't know. Does that make sense? I'm picky. Maybe that's it. I'm picky. I like people in small, like, one-on-one -on -one scenarios. That's not true though, because I really love, <laughs> Never mind. I think I'm just an extrovert um, because I love, like I do speaking engagements for photography education. And um, I really love getting up there to, um, to talk to people. So I don't, I don't know what I am. <laughs> I think I'm probably an extrovert. But like maybe like a rude extrovert sometimes. Oh my gosh, my scissors just popped open. But anyway, I talk a lot. <laughs> okay, so... I'm going to leave that one there and then I want to go back in here because for the rest of the skin, no, I want to do one that was right next to it. <laughs> okay, I want to do this one, but I want to do really little. I'm impatient. Nope, not that little like that there we go mm. okay whoa that is i don't think i like that <laughs> So I want this I'm going to erase this back I already don't like this I'm going to keep messing with it until maybe I do <laughs> So buckle up. Oh, we could be here a while. Okay, so let's see. Let's get rid of it.
like some weird like Guardians of the Galaxy skin. Then I'm gonna take that way down. Merge and duplicate. And I'm gonna do my normal dodge and burn. And it'll of course be a little different. Just like scope the skin back a little bit. Sun plate already. I like it. All right. So since I'm missing the color, suppose we just take this down a notch. Oh, no, never mind. We don't. Suppose we don't do that. All right, so maybe we'll just add a little swoosh of color like actually kind of turned gray but that works too and then we'll go darker and then much lighter just go all in on this since this is what we were going to do let's do Do 
just as if we were doing a drawing. Just how we would start it, start to lay it out. Oh, I like this, it's very soothing. And then they had a girl, so let's find and maybe we'll start a trend with <laughs> gender reveals. <laughs> smaller and a little bit bigger so I think that would be a fun way to fun kind of um, gender reveal moment I guess that's pretty late for a gender reveal though. All right. So I'll save that in Okay, let's see what else is next. I'm gonna mark 
up here. Okay, and then I need to pull up some county fair type, um, you know, carnival-y. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been to a carnival. So let me get this up here so I can still see if you guys are talking to me. Um, and see some kind of reference images to look at. Because I want it nice and bright and colorful. It doesn't have to be anything, um, you know. Ooh, fireworks would be fun. Oh, okay, fire, well, okay. I like a hot air balloon, I like that idea. But I feel like that might compete with her balloon. Um, and I don't know. Okay, so I do have that layer, okay. Um, I, don't, I don't have this very well planned out, so. I'm not gonna do that one. Um, you know what though? I do have a, <coughs> a cameo that I think I can do. I don't think I'll do that today though. Um, I do have a really cool plan for Friday where we're gonna take some old, old portraits and kind of modernize them. So what the women would look like if they were that age today. So we'll kind of change their hair and change their makeup um, along the same lines of creative restoration, but really um, adjusting for the times. And I'm excited about that. Um, so you, you be too. <laughs> Get excited. <laughs> okay, so now I have forgotten what all my layers are. Uh, so what do we want here? We've got a Ferris wheel. Where's she at? Do I have all of these on? I mean, I don't even see stuff change. Okay, there's some people. And there are the swings and a copy of the swings. Oh, there's the Ferris wheel. And um, there's my neighbor's monster truck. Hear everything on my back wall um, shaking. It's awesome. New neighbors. Well, kind of new. To be honest, everybody in our entire neighborhood sold their house um, in the midst of COVID, and then I guess we're not allowed to go meet people the way we used to, which that's an area that I'm not an introvert. I don't really care to know my neighbors. You know, like chat in the yard when you happen to see each other, you know, whatever that, but I don't, you know, outside of that, I don't really, I've never known my neighbors. I thought maybe that'd be cool. I grew up on, um, I was technically in town, but my parents built their house on my grandparents' property and, um, but there was 13 acres or so in between them. So um, I spent my whole childhood, you know, in the woods in between my house and my grandparents' house. And my grandparents were my neighbors. We had um, a cow farm on the other side. So when he was on his tractor, I would wave at him, but that was the extent of the neighbor relationship. <laughs> it was pretty low key and I I don't know that I appreciated that then, like how nice that is. I would love that now, but I don't live in my hometown. 
let's see, what colors do we want? Let's just put some people. Here are some people. I'm not particularly neighborly, I'm afraid. I'm gonna undo that actually, go the other direction. if I should just be um, doing this all on the same layer and it might just be easier like that. Where are the swings? Let's, you know what? and stuff like that later. wind machine is in full effect, I suppose. Then I also want to, first of all, I'm going to save this. There he goes. So my picture frames can quit clinking together. Okay. So, in order to blend this a little bit, I already went over that with the smudge tool, but I'm kind of in a, like I've been doing this a lot with this paintbrush. So this is my, you know, like blue period, <laughs> except it's just, I am using the same, <laughs> Photoshop paintbrush over and over again. Exactly the same thing. clown makeup on her. So making sure that I'm giving this kind of painterly effect. So I want to maintain the ridges, but it's going to be dramatic. It's going to have to be dramatic to fit with the almost impressionist style scenario going on in the background.
We went to a Whole Foods. We go to a Whole Foods after church because we go to church about 45 minutes away now. And then there's a Whole Foods like 15 minutes on the other side of that. And there's no Whole Foods where we live. So we always go out of our way to get Whole Foods to get the good donuts <laughs> on Sunday. And they didn't have any donuts. So I'm like, I did not start my week off right because I did not get my vanilla and maple donuts. So I'm a little bit off. with some of these like wide brush strokes showing I kind of like that I want it to be cohesive with the background and it's hard especially with the photograph to let some of that stuff not blend too. Actually smaller than that. Oops. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to take a little bitty teeny tiny one. Give her some eyebrows back because I don't know. She has eyebrows, I promise you that. I think in some of my efforts here, they went missing. And then I'm going to burn. Take that back. And I'm going to go really, really tiny, like. did um she, she's got a toupee on all of a sudden <laughs> take her toupee off I'm gonna 
duplicate this one and combine those and then duplicate that one. So I was picturing kind of a watercolor real light. I don't, 99% of the images that I've had a huge amount of success with, the ones that I love the most are low key, dark, low light images. And I keep thinking that I should do, you know, something different and then I don't <laughs> and then I, I'll start something light and I'll just keep messing with it until it's dark uh, so that I can kind of feel that happening I'm gonna save this and then we're gonna go to work here because I'm going to Yeah, I think I will. I think I'll just flatten it. I'm gonna live on the edge a little bit. Wild and free. And then I'm gonna save it as a separate document because I'm not that wild and free. <laughs> Man, my allergies are like intense. Okay. So, one thing I do want to do um, is do a big, kind of border. Actually, you know what? Get rid of this. And then bring this out. Put her right in the middle and boom. I mean, boom. <laughs> Close enough. And then Now, here we go. to see that edge. Here we go. Okay, so what are the references that I can find here? Not that one. What do... No, not that one either. <laughs> what do county fairs look like? What is the quintessential county fair? I think of like carnival barkers and, uh, you know, so the games and the Ferris wheel and what else is there? So we'll get some people. I remember a project in college where we had to do an impressionist style image painting that you never use the same color more than one stroke. 
and I really didn't. I was obsessed with, I was definitely a rule follower. <laughs> and I didn't, and the professor was like, I bet you did. <laughs> I was so insulted. I'm still insulted to this day. How dare you? It was a lot, because I used a really small stroke, so I think that's probably why they thought I was. So we got camera right sun. Try not to do too much of a pattern. Um, so the idea behind this was that she was lost. The title was going to be lost. <laughs> but um, I don't know that I'm really selling it on that. Get pink. And then let's do like a blue to kind of push that. So the idea was like little kid at the fair you get separated from your parents and you're scared but like you and but first you have all this fun and then once you know the ice cream's melting you've gotten to do everything then you're ready for your parents <laughs> and that's where she's at Just do like a swish of a blue sky. Not overly blue. And not that opaque. Wow, that's only 33%, so that's pretty strong. Should have probably gone down in opacity anyway. Let's um, make this a little easier on this. sure that we're not overdoing it.
like a dream sequence in a movie. All right, so I'm gonna merge these. Actually, I might just go wild and merge that, duplicate that, and then save it as a new Start refining. I'm going to go darker than that. See, there I go again with the dark. In fact, that's the only thing in this that actually is. Okay, let's do this. Let's do, I've been playing with these quite a bit. Let's play a little bit more. There's one. She's moving slow. She's got a lot of information there. I'm not gonna, I'm already gonna change it. <laughs> nope, not that one. Um, nope, not that one. So it's just that one that was, well, this one's gonna be slow too. It's interesting. You can see what's been messed around with. <laughs> There's one in particular that I like. And now I can't remember. Does look like cross stitch. Um, what is it though? I love the idea of a watercolor type. You know what? I'm gonna hang on to that one. Lower the opacity a little bit. Merge those and duplicate. And then I want to find more of a watercolor type. Yeah, we were in the wrong. We were in the wrong um, Let's see. Nope. <laughs> Paint tops, that's it. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this one, and then Okay, and then we're gonna merge those and duplicate. 
And then I'm gonna get in there and dodge all day long. Dodge that. Let's see here. Let's duplicate this one and then nope, I, don't. <laughs> I keep doing the wrong layer. Here we go. And now go crazy with Dodge. those duplicate those um, merge those and duplicate again <laughs> I want it to be really just, there we go. Okay, and now, for as often as I merge and duplicate, you think I'd be really fast? You'd be wrong, so. Okay. So I did um, an image for competition last year. I'll show it to you. It did not do well. <laughs> I wanted to do something in the style of Vermeer, if you're familiar with art history. Um, and I did this as a digital painting and um, I don't know if you can even see. So I did, you know, Vermeer, Vermeer always had paintings on the walls and a lot of detail and I did. So the title was Tired of Waiting and um, she's obviously pregnant and I did the Vermeer floor in the Vermeer colors and the window and the dramatic expression and a clock and a crib and these, um, are like spicy foods and a book for inducing labor. So it was very, I thought it was great. <laughs> Obviously, uh, the judges did not. I think it got the dreaded 79, but I gave her the really dramatic Vermeer style of eye. So that's what I'm gonna do here too. Just to drive home. Let's 
that's too much. But that real dramatic, sad eye is before, that's after. There we go. Um, and then, you know what, I'm just going to flatten and then duplicate. Um, I actually think I might go, what's going on here? And go like a real low opacity, just cause that sky is very, um, almost intrusive. And I just want a little bit of chaos. I'm okay with a little bit of chaos. That's why I have six kids. <laughs> and that is that. Finally, got that to a place that I'm happy with. So we'll save this as a JPEG. And then I'm going to save that in another place too. Um, so I didn't end up talking about myths, legends, or dogs that become mayor. I would vote for a dog 100% over our current mayor. I think I would probably vote for a dog over most people. <laughs> so if you live in my area, then, um, your dog, my dog lives outside of town or, you know, he would be on that. Um, but as soon as I find this to save, so I will save Miss Legends and dogs that end up mayor for another time. <laughs> Always a new topic. But I want to thank you guys. I want to thank everybody who stopped in today, everybody who chatted with me, everybody who follows. It's such um, it's such a good time, and it's such a great community. And um, if you are here and you're following me and you're a streamer, let me know so we can link up. And um, follow me on here. Subscribe on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram. All that good stuff. Thank you guys so much for being here, and I look forward to seeing you on Wednesday. Have a good one. That's why you my mommy. <laughs>